What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today you join me for another shopping episode. So we're gonna hit up the Japanese auction sites, see what kind of deals are out there, what just sold, what's available now, and hmm, maybe we'll buy something. For those of you that are new, this is Vintage Kicks Gallery. First up, we have a very, very tempting offering because not only are they amazing, but they're also my size. And that is a pair of 1989 Fire Red OG Jordan 4s. And oh my goodness, do these look crispy. Um, I do have a pair of these, but nowhere near this condition. These are absolutely amazing. They have the hang tag. Looks like they have everything but the box. Um, as I go through these pictures, I'm salivating, literally. I want these so, so bad. I mean, look at these pictures. They're just phenomenal. Uh, if they had the box, who knows what these things would sell for, but currently, they've got three days left and they're only at 118 bucks. Now, I don't expect them to go anywhere near that, but if they go for, well, I'm not gonna tell you how much. Let's just say I'll be bidding on them. Next up, we have an obscenely expensive pair of breads, but these caught my eye because they are DS and they look crispy. I can't even tell from these pictures that these are Sky Jordans, Air Jordans, and um, again, it's all in Japanese, so I really don't know what it says, but I just really like when they're this crispy, this preserved. I mean, look at that insole writing, quite amazing. Now the price, $21,781 US, it's a little too high, um, it's a lot too high. But still, how cool is that to see a DS pair for sale? If I had the money, I wouldn't be buying them though. Next up, I found a pair of air pressures. That's right, the 1989 hitters, the ones we have here. Um, they're cool because they have the instruction manual, they have the case, which is just awesome. But take a look at the pictures and tell me what you think. I mean. When I look at them, they don't have the back. The back's disintegrated. That's normal. It's like my pair. Um, other than that, I think they're deep. Well, no, they're not DS. They, they definitely got some wear, but they really look like they're in good condition outside that crumbling. Now, the bad news is they basically are all crumbling at this point. I mean, 1989's right on the edge of when the midsoles and the materials that Nike used, they just don't hold up. And the air pressure unit in the back, that certainly doesn't hold up. It's completely gone on these. So they're, uh, let's see, size 27 centimeters, which is, what is that, a size nine US? They're not even my size. These are a definite pass, especially at $329.56 US. I think I got my pair for a hundred bucks and mine were DS. So that's a pass, but pretty cool to see. Anytime I see an air pressure, we gotta let everybody know. Next up, we have a pair of conventions. And what struck me about these is they have the box, they're DS. So as I look through these pictures, they're just more and more tempting as I go. They're even my size. They're the great colorway of red and white. The only problem is they're asking $1,704.60 buyout price or 180,000 yen. Guys, that's way, way too high. But still, to have a pair in the box DS would be pretty awesome. Uh, there was a time, guys, where you could buy these all day long for under 500 bucks. Oftentimes people call the conventions a team convention, which is wrong, there's a difference, but still I would love to have these in the collection and if they were about 20% of the price, I'd be buying them. Next up we have a pair that really caught me off guard and they caught me off guard because I got really excited and then I realized what size they were. So that's a pair of natural gray Jordan 1s, 1985s and they look to be in relatively decent condition. Now, the ends of the soles, they're cooked as usual, but again, they're size eight, and they're, they're listed at $1,041.70, or 110,000 yen. I think that's about what these things are worth, but again, they're size eight, which is a modern day seven and a half. That's just too small. Um, all in all though, the condition looks really nice. Definitely not the OG laces. I do not see OG insoles as well. But guys, these would definitely come back to life. If you've got a size seven and a half foot, maybe consider them. 
All right, next up is another pair I got really excited for because I thought that they were the black metallics, but upon further inspection, they're just the navy blue metallics, but still, it's a pretty nice pair. Um, looks like the soles are decent. I mean, they're definitely, they don't look hardened. They look like they've got plenty of tread left. Little bit of heel drag. But what caught me really on these is the condition of the metallic and it is nice. Now it is, you know, it, it's, um, it's cracked, but you know, they all are. Like even this pair, which is a really, really nice pair, the top collars, those are all cracked and um, you know, they're eggshelling. So you don't even want to breathe on these things wrong. You don't want to look at them wrong because they just fall apart. Uh, to find one in this condition, kind of rare. I'm going to be very careful as I put this back. But they're getting rarer and rarer as time goes on. Now, this particular pair is a size 10 and a half, which is my size. The problem is they're 350,000 yen or $3,314.50 US. Guys, it's just too much. But one thing to note on these, it looks like the padding is actually probably pretty good. The real way you can tell that is it's really, uh, it's thick at the top and it has a nice little loop that usually means that the padding's still good. But what I don't like is the soles have been poorly, poorly repaired. You can kind of see that in this picture. Next up, we have a very enticing pair because they're dead stock and that's a pair of 1984 Vandal Supremes. That's right, a DS pair, and oh my goodness are they crispy. These things have been stored, who knows how, but they have really, really been well preserved. Um, these are size nine and a half, so they're not my size. They're currently listed at 98,000 yen, or $928.06 US. They don't have any bids on them. But I think that's still, I mean, it's probably going great right for these. It's still way out of my price range because you used to be able to pick these up for next to nothing. I guess those days are just over. Next up, we have a book. I know it's not a pair of sneakers, but I'd really like to have this. Um, I've seen these pop up a few times. It's cool because it looks like these have some weathered 85s in there. I see some black toes. I see some royals. Looks pretty, pretty cool. I even see New Balances in here. So it looks like there's a little bit of everything uh, from, let's see what years this covers. 80s and 90s, that's definitely my wheelhouse. It's only $14.21, but it does have a bid. Who knows what it'll go for. If it goes for under like 30 bucks US, I'll probably be buying this, to be honest with you. It's just too cool to pass up. Next up, we have a pair of 1986 team conventions. Not conventions, but team conventions. In that red and white colorway. Um, I actually have a pair of these. The thing you really have to worry about and watch out for these are the split collars. And you can see on this pair, They've seen better days. These are definitely too split to repair. Now, just as a general rule of thumb, if it's just the outside and it's just a hairline crack, a small little split, you can generally fix that with this product called Scotch Weld. These on the other hand are cooked. They're way, way too split. They're 39,999 yen or $378.80 US. If they didn't have that split collar, they would be a buy because these things go for big money now. I've seen a couple pairs of these close out at over 1200 bucks lately, and I can see why. They have all those Jordan 1 design cues. I think it is a great looking sneaker, and as far as the 80s go, it's one of my top five favorite models, and it's really slept on now. Not a lot of people know what a team convention is, uh, but again, these are just a little bit too far gone for me. I'm gonna pass. Next up, we have a pair of 1987 Air Force Two Highs. And these are cool because of the colorway. We've got a white, blue, and yellow. And guys, these look awesome. Um, I believe they're size, let's see, they're size nine US, so way too small to fit me. But I actually think these would be wearable if they would be my size. Now, the price is currently at 12 cents US, uh, or 12 yen, I'm sorry, 11 yen, with tax included 12 yen. They have two bids and only 16 hours left. I'm definitely gonna be bidding on these just to have them for the collection. Now, what you do have to worry about on these is the tongue. Now, take a look at this picture. Do you see how the tongue is all cracked up and everything? That means it's gonna be sticky too. There's really no way to repair these other than to strip all that off and paint them. They never look right. They're always tacky, and I mean tacky like sticky. They're just not worth messing with. I would leave this completely alone. The other thing you have to worry about in these is the back plastic. It gets cracked and it basically disintegrates over time. But man, would these look good on the shelf. And as I look at the pictures, I mean, these have barely been worn, if worn at all. They are nice. Rarely do you see a pair 
in this condition, especially at 12 cents, they're not gonna sell it that, but still at 12 cents, I would probably pay up to about 200 bucks for these, believe it or not, just because of the colorway I'm in love with and I think they'd look good up here, I really do. All right, next up we have a pair of Nike Vandals, 1984s and they're currently at $54.69. They have 11 bids. There's 16 hours left on them. That's 5,250 yen, by the way. Um, here's why these are a pass for me. Number one, they're not my size. Number two, they have no ankle strap. So that's a common thing for people to lose on the Vandals, but this one doesn't have it, therefore they're a pass. I see these come up a lot in this colorway, and I believe that green is actually not supposed to be green. That is a patina um, that's a from aging, basically. I think with a little bit of work, some deoxidation of the soles, maybe some bleaching of the shoelaces, some reshaping, and if they had that ankle strap, these would be heaters. Uh, I don't know what I'd pay for them. Probably a hundred, maybe a hundred twenty-five dollars. So maybe I'll keep an eye on them, but I doubt it without that ankle strap because once that's gone, you're not going to find a replacement. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Shopping in Japan. And this time I'm going to put the links for everything in the description below. So if you're actually interested in any of this stuff, go ahead, check it out. Uh, I'm going to put the links through Bai E, which is a proxy service. I've used them before. They're okay. But if you get anything, please let me know. I'm really curious to see if this helps anybody out. And if you find anything good, send it my way. All right, guys, have a good one. I'll see you next time.